Hi, and welcome to another episode of Chef's Tips and Tricks with me, Chef Sam McKenzie. So if you remember on our last episode, I showed you how to make a Caesar dressing, one of my favorite all-time dressings. So today we're gonna to take to the next step and make the Caesar salad. So we've got the Caesar dressing that we made earlier, um, a baby jam lettuce. You can use romaine as well, which is the classic um, salad leaf to use. Um, we've got some homemade sourdough, some unsalted butter, you need to use unsalted. If you use salted butter, you'll get little black bits when you uh, cook your croutons because that's the salt burning the butter. Some great parmesan, some fresh thyme, and three cloves of garlic in there. So, first stage is we're going to make our croutons. So, take my sourdough and I want to cut it into cubes around one centimeter um, square. Don't have to be exact. I think they look quite good when they're, when they're a little bit rustic, you know. All the way through, and I'm going to do that with my second side. So again, cubes one centimetre thick, all the way through. Right, turn my pan on, and I'm going to get this on a medium heat to uh, start melting the butter. That's my croutons now, you can hear them really crunchy, smell really nice intense garlic flavour. Um, and take a draining tray with a clean cloth, spoon, and I'm going to take them out. Leave them on there just to drain. And we'll pop these to one side, ready to finish our salad later. Okay, so moving on to the next step. Um, really excited to show you this little trick and it's something that I use quite a lot, really favorite garnish of mine. And we're gonna make a really simple Parmesan biscuit. Only takes a minute to do and really, really effective. So we've got the great Parmesan. I've got a sheet of um, non-stick baking paper and just on a small plate, and I'm just going to sprinkle the, um, the paper with the parmesan. Not worried if there's little gaps around and it doesn't have to be overly tidy. No, I'm not using all the parmesan, I'm going to use that later for my salad. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this in the microwave for 45 seconds. My microwave is a thousand watts and it'll come out with a lovely parmesan biscuit. Okay, so that's my parmesan out of the microwave for 45 seconds. Gave it five, 10 seconds just to cool down. And you see, it comes straight off the paper and I'm left with a lovely Parmesan biscuit, a few holes in it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that on the paper, on the plate, and pop that over alongside my croutons, ready to finish my salad off later. Okay, next step is to prepare my salad. So I've got my baby jam. What I'm gonna do is take the bottom off and start unwinding my leaves. When you get to the stage where they're stuck again, Take the next bit of the bottom off and just keep unwinding and winding all the way down till you get to the very heart. And then all I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to cut it one centimetre thick and the very root, get rid of that. I've got a bowl of fresh cold water. I'm just going to drop my leaves in there, including my uh, shredded leaves. I'm just going to mix them around just to make sure that they're nice and clean. I've got a colander with a bowl underneath. I'm just going to take my leaves out and pop them in the colander there. And I'm going to leave them in the colander for two to three minutes, just so all the water, excess water drains. We need to get rid of that water, because otherwise what that will do, when we add the Caesar dressing to the leaves, it'll um, water the Caesar dressing down, it'll go all wet and runny, and it won't stay nice, thick and creamy. So we'll give that a couple of minutes and then we'll be ready to dress our Caesar salad. Okay, so final steps now. We've got our Caesar dressing. We've got our baby gem leaves that have all been washed. They've had two, three minutes in the colander, just draining that excess water. Our Parmesan crisp, our extra great Parmesan and our lovely thyme and garlic sourdough croutons. So what we're gonna do is take our leaves and pop them into a mixing bowl. And this is gonna be enough for a good main course salad or perhaps two starters. And we're gonna take our Caesar dressing and we'll go dessert spoon, one, two, we've got three spoons in there. So I like nice creamy dressing on my salad. Um, Parmesan, I'm gonna go one, two really good pinches. And I've got a little bit of mold and salt. I'm gonna go two good pinches of mold and salt. And I'm gonna mix all this together. So this is one of them dishes where really spoons don't work and so nice clean hands and just gently twist them in. 
and really what you're looking to do is get every little piece of leaf coated in the dressing with a little bit of the parmesan on it and there uh, you can see every leaf is dressed lots of dressing on it all nice and clean okay so our salad's all mixed up now i'm um, going to find a little leaf just snap a little piece off mm. Yeah, seasoning's lovely. So let's start putting it in a bowl. So, nice bowl. I've chosen a nice brown bowl, so really set the colours of the salad up. And what I'm going to do is find my nice big leaves and just pop them around the outside. And give a little press down the stalks in the middle. And then in my mixing bowl, I'm just going to grab my leaves together in a little pile and get my really nice um, baby ones from the center out and pop them in the middle of the dish there. My hands are a little wide. Then with that way, what I'm gonna do is take my croutons and I'm just gonna drop a few croutons in and around my salad. Now, if you wanted anchovies on your Caesar salad, which is classical, I'm not a big fan of anchovies at the moment. Um, but you would pop a few anchovies through there now. Again, if you're going to do a chicken Caesar salad or anything else, now's the time to pop that in, but obviously make sure it's nicely seasoned first. I'm going to take my Parmesan biscuit and I'm just going to snap chunks off and let it fall in there. Nice big one at the top. Pop it in around my salad. And I think this is a little bit different from kind of just having some Parmesan shavings over the top. Gives a nice bit of texture as well. So the last little piece I'll pop in there. And there we go, my Caesar salad.